Today, the doula's tip is about bathing a newborn baby. Before you start, make sure the room temperature is between 23 and 25 Celsius. Now, it's time to set up all the items you are going to need. Let's do it together. Start by placing the first towel, followed by a second one on top of it. It can either be another towel or a muslin swaddle or any other sort of um, fabric that has a good water absorption. And the third one on top of everything. Those layers of towels will make things easier when the bath is done. And on top of everything, you can place this type of hygienic um, mats and bring the baby on. Start removing the dirty diaper. Now you can use a dump cloth or baby wipes to remove any excess of poo or pee. The disposable mat is a protection for the towels. When we take the baby's clothes off, they can relax and sometimes they can poop or pee. The towel on top will serve to swaddle the baby during the bath. The baby's face is the first thing to be clean. By doing that, we make sure we have fresh water to clean eyes, nose, mouth and face. For the face, you just need clean water and a washcloth. And now, you just use a dry washcloth to finish the process. Now, it's time to wash the hair. For that, we are going to need baby soap or baby shampoo and a washcloth. Note that during this first part of the process, the baby is kept warm and swaddled. While you're holding the head, you can use your fingers to protect the ear canals. As soon as the wash is done, you can use a dry washcloth to dry the hair. Now, it's time to wash the body. The technique we are demonstrating in this video is the swaddling bath. By being swaddled during the bath, the baby feels warmer, more comfortable and safer. If the baby bath tube that you're using doesn't have this support for the baby, it is important that you hold the baby like this. Hold your fingers in a C shape and use your arm to support the baby's head. Try to keep the baby covered throughout the whole process and keep pouring warm water over the fabric. That will ensure your baby a warm and nice experience. Now wash the body, uncovering only the parts that you are working on. Newborn babies need some time to build up their immunity system. That's well, always a good idea to wait at least a couple of days before giving the first bath. 
The belly button can be washed with no problem. The only thing is to make sure that you will keep the area dry after bath. Now it's time to turn the baby on his stomach to wash the back. You put your fingers under the arm in a C shape, lay the head in your other hand and turn the baby slowly. Move your hand under the chin to hold and give support to the head. Here, the same movement in a slow motion from another angle. Now, see how the chin is supported by your hand from another angle. It's time to turn the baby back to the other position. Support the head and finish washing. Be quick when transferring the baby from the water to the towel. Wrap him up and hold him a little bit just to keep him warm. The drying process should be done very quick but very carefully. Start drying from the feet. Make sure you go through between the fingers, all the skin folds everywhere. And make sure the upper part of the body is still covered. Now it's time to dry the upper part of the body. And again, pay attention to the armpits and in between the fingers. And the chubby neck fold. As soon as drying is finished, we are going to put the diaper, just to avoid any sort of accident. If the baby has no rash and the skin is healthy, you don't have to use the white creams or treatment creams. You can make use of Vaseline or any sort of transparent cream. The advantage of applying the transparent creams is that they make easier to clean up after a poop. Adjust the waist and fold the top to uncover the belly button. Make sure it is well adjusted in the legs to avoid discomfort and leakage. Now remove the damp muslin swaddle and cover the baby with a towel that is still dry. To avoid accidents involving little fingers, Use your fingers to grab and keep the baby's hand closed until it goes through the sleeve completely. Remember to always use your hand to support the baby's neck. Make sure to bend the leg carefully when dressing your baby in pajamas or onesies. If you're dressing your baby in a zippered pajama, make sure to put your finger under to avoid pinching the skin. Well done! Squeaky.